my lovelies, Sophia here, Psychic Tarot Reader, Personal Mentor. Welcome back to my channel, Sophia Psychic Tarot. So today's daily guidance is for the 3rd of December 2020. Again, if it helps somebody, then I'm a happy bunny. So, dear spirit guides and angels, what message do you have for the 3rd? Okay, we have self-love. the Queen of Wands. Let's bring in these. I've got a feeling. And protection. Okay, let's go with these. Expect powerful change. That's been coming out a lot lately, that one. Let's see what Archangel Michael has to say. Um, explore your options. Remember, I will be putting this all together in a moment. And clearly decide what you want very soon. Okay, and let's finish with one of these. And the strength card. Okay, so let's start with a self-love. Okay. Radical self-love is necessary. Empowerment starts from the inside out. Do not compare yourself to others. Start your change with focus and love of self. Every day I bring radical self-love to body, mind and spirit. Um, and again, it says, you know, I've read it out before. Sometimes we feel we're not enough, that we're, you know, either our own voice telling us that we're not pretty enough, powerful enough, talented enough, ambitious enough, experienced enough curvy enough okay and lots of other things um but also others tell us as well so um just stop put your blinkers on breathe be with yourself speak to the goddess or whatever energy floats your boat and ask for help help sorry not help um so going within to know that you are the queen of wands you are passionate you can have passion you are lovable, you are good enough, you are worthy. Know that you're protected, okay? You are protected if you're feeling vulnerable, if you need to do inner child work, okay? Soothing that inner child, we can all do it. All you have to do is sort of stand there, close your eyes, put your arms around yourself if you need to, and pretend that you are cuddling your inner child, your little Sophia, if you like. Um, you know, whoever you are, your inner child, and that you are cuddling this child and you're saying, I'm here for you. Nothing is going to harm you. I'm here. I'm here to protect you. You are beautiful. You are lovable. You are everything. You are powerful. Okay, so knowing that you are the god or the goddess of your reality and if you can do that and have the strength and courage to know that you're good enough, take everybody else off your pedestal. It is your pedestal. It is your throne. Nobody else is on your pedestal or sits on your throne. If you allow somebody else to do that, then you've given your power away. You are playing a victim in your own movie and an extra in the person's movie who you've put on your pedestal or throne. If you can know your own self-worth and self-respect, then you can expect powerful changes because your life will totally change. Okay, so explore your options. Thank you for your wisdom and love, helping me see, understand and assess all my alternative options. 
Please guide me in the best direction for my health, happiness and life's purpose. Very soon, decide sooner rather than later. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. I've just, funnily enough, done success story number seven. And this could very well relate to that story. Okay, the lady who was in an awful marriage, very narcissistic, controlling husband who kept going back to his ex-wife. Um, you know, she, the lady who came to me for mentoring, saw her self-worth, self-love, because this is what I teach. Okay, and she put herself on that pedestal and she changed him in her thoughts. Okay, she had strength and confidence and courage to do that. So you can listen to that story to tie it in if you like, because this does fit in with what she did. So I'll leave this with you, love and light. <laughs>